Brahma said, In the Kalpa called Padma, I created my mental son Pulastya, whose son Vishravas begot the son Vaishravana. He propitiated the three-eyed god Shiva with a very severe penance and enjoyed the city of Alaka built by Vishvakrit. When that kalpa was over and the Meghavahana kalpa had started, the son of Yagyadatta, Shrida, performed a severe penance, realizing the efficacy of devotion to Shiva accruing from the mere illumination of his temple with lamps. He reached Kashi for the illumination of his thought. Under the luster of the gems of the mind, he repeated the mantras of eleven rudras with loyal devotion and unswerving concentration of the mind. He could realize his identity with Shiva. He then performed a very severe penance for 200,000 years, a penance which was enhanced by the fire of austerity, was free from interference from lust and anger, was windless inasmuch as the breath was curbed, and was pure in form with pure vision. He set up the Linga of Shiva and worshipped it with flowers of good ideas and feelings. The penance was so severe that his body was reduced to skin and bones. Then, in the company of the goddess Parvati, the Lord Vishveshwara himself addressed the devotee, the Lord of Alaka, with a pleasant mind. The devotee who stood as a stump with mind concentrated on the linga. I am ready to grant you a boon. Choose it, O Lord of Alaka. The devotee opened his eyes and gazed at Lord Shiva, the moon-crested consort of Uma, who was shining with a brilliance that excelled thousands of rising suns. Dazzled by the brilliance, he closed his eyes and addressed the Lord of Lords, who is beyond the reach of mental conception. O oh Lord, please give my eyes the power to see your feet. This itself is a great boon, O oh Lord, that I see you present. O oh Lord, O oh moon-crested God, obeisance be to you. Of what avail are other boons? On hearing his words, the Lord of Devas, Uma's consort, touched him with his palm and gave him the requisite of divine vision. Then, on securing the power, Yagyadatta's son opened his eyes and saw Uma alone at first. Who is this lady, beautiful in person, near Shiva the Lord? What penance did she perform more difficult than mine? What a form! What a love! What a good luck! What a fine glory! He repeated these words several times. While he was doing this and glancing cruelly at Uma, as a result of seeing the lady, his left eye burst. Then the goddess told Shiva, Why does this wicked ascetic look at me often and say, You make my penance shine? And seeing me with his right eye jealously, why does he marvel at my beauty, love, and good luck? On hearing the words of the goddess, Lord Shiva laughed and said, O oh, Uma, he is your son. He does not look at you angrily or jealously. He is describing your glory of penance. After saying this to the goddess, Isha told him again, Dear son, I am delighted at your penance. I shall give you the boon you desire. You will be the lord of treasures and the lord of guyakas. You will be the king of yakshas, kinaras, and rulers. You will be the leader of punyajanas and the bestower of wealth to all. My friendship with you shall remain forever. I shall stay near you, very near Alaka, dear friend, in order to increase your love. O son of Yagyadatta, great devotee, come on, this is your mother, fall at her feet with delighted heart. Brahma said, After granting him boons, Lord Shiva told Uma, O goddess, be pleased with him. This ascetic is your own son. 
On hearing these words of Shiva, Parvati, the mother of the universe, said to the son of Yajnadatta with a delighted mind, Dear son, may your pure devotion to Shiva remain forever. With your left eye burst, you will be called Ekapinga, having a yellow mark in place of an eye. May all the boons granted to you by the Lord fructify. You shall be called Kubera, possessed of ill-shaped body. O son, since you jealously looked at me. After granting these boons to Kubera, Lord Maheshwara, in the company of the goddess Parvati, entered his Vishveshwara abode. Thus, Kubera attained the friendship of Shiva. Very near his city Alaka was Kailash, the abode of Shiva.